today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the Diamond Select Muppets collectible action figures. Today, we're having a look at Animal. I have been really excited about getting Animal. Finally, he showed up in local comic book store. Animal comes included with, of course, his set of drums. Of course, he would come with his set of drums. This is the continued line of Muppet figures from the folks over at Diamond Select Toys. Uh, spin around the side of the package. You've got a picture there of Animal, a fan favorite among many Muppet fans. A lot of people love Animal. And spin around the back. It doesn't necessarily give you a read-up, unfortunately, but it does give you a good image of what Animal's going to look like with his drum set. Also available, there's Bunsen and Beaker, and Statler and Waldorf. To check out more from the folks over at Diamond Select Toys, be sure to head over to www.diamondselecttoys.com. Spot's going to take himself a break and get this opened up, but when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the Muppets Animal. Animal. There's more Henny Way. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Okay, so now that we got Animal out of packaging, let's have a look at the figure. Now, unfortunately, of all the things that don't want to stand up on this backdrop, it's Animal's drums. Um, I can get some of the things to stand up, but things like cymbals, for example, unless I prop them up against the, I guess I prop them up against the drums. They're not going to stand properly, but. We'll kind of go through all the little drum components in a second, but obviously the first thing that we're going to want to look at is Animal. Animal turned out really good. Now with the Muppets line, it seems like because the scales are smaller on these figures than say the Palisades that were released uh, you know, several years prior, uh, they do tend to give them extra accessories. Animal was packaged on his own. Which I guess really he could have been packaged also with one of the other members of the band. But instead they opt to give him all his drum components. Which kind of fill out the fact that he's a smaller figure. Uh, like Bunsen Honeydew for example and Beaker. They come together because they are the again smaller smaller figures. Sattler and Waldorf same idea. But I have to admit though Animal looks very good. He is small yes but he is very very good though. They also went as far as to give him a real working chain, which I think is a nice touch indeed. Let's have a look at his face. Let's bring the camera in and have a look at his face. He's full of color. He's full of delight. He's full of animal. Now his mouth, funny enough, actually does have articulation. When you get him in the packaging, his mouth is like this, which either way suits animal perfectly fine. A nice job, by the way, as well, of hiding the joint. They put the joint uh, as if it was his tongue. You see that at the back of the mouth there? But the mouth does open and close, and then he's got the ball joint working from there as well. Uh, probably, I guess, for displaying purposes, I would angle the head ever so slightly, and I would have the mouth just, yeah, probably just about like that. He does have a pair of drumsticks, which if you are wondering, they do remove. So if you don't want to have Animal displayed as the drummer, you can have Animal displayed just as the frantic maniac backstage. But uh, I probably will likely display him with the drum set. Other notable things are his top, which I didn't realize Animal, I guess I always knew, but I didn't really think about it. But he kind of has like a belly top going on there. Uh, sh a string tied up pair of really tattered brown pants and then of course these guys bare feet I guess he's kind of the same explanation as as Gonzo well Gonzo is a weirdo I guess that is his true class animal I don't know what you would class him as he's just well he's just animal the coloring though on him is great very bright almost a pinkish dark pink I would say for his face it should be maybe a little bit redder, but I mean, it for, it fits perfectly the bill for him being an action figure. Uh, the of course the oranging of the orange coloring of his le of his body, the brown of his pants, and then the bright red and yellow of his top. No complaints I can make for Animal. He just turned out really good uh, for his posability. As I already slightly alluded to, he does have a ball joint in the head, the hinged mouth, which is a very nice touch. I'm glad they did that. Uh, he has rotation in the arms. 
Now, because these limbs are a little more uh, smaller and thinner, you have to do be a little more careful with rotationing or rotating the joints. But he does have a rotation in the bicep, a hinge in the elbow, and it appears he does have a swivel or rotation in the forearm as well. He has a hinge also in the hand, a rotation also in the hand. He has a ball joint in the upper torso, ball joint legs, hinged knees, rotation on the lower leg, and hinged feet. Pivot point, just a little mild pivot in this foot as well. So there is Animal. Quite, quite cool figure. Get him to hopefully stand, even though he is probably gonna be relegated to drumming. But let's have a look at some of the components. We'll move him back a little further. Let's look at some of the components that make up his drum set. And uh, hopefully stand. Stand. There we go. All right. We'll kind of work our way. I don't know the full, I don't know the correct drum names per se, but he's got his main drum or not bass drum, but he's got his main kick drum, one that he sits in front of. And uh, I think it's Doc, Dr. Teeth. He does have the band logo on the front there with the shiny gold tooth. A nice airbrushing transitioning of the red to orange to yellow, and then the stark white on the back. A couple of stands for holding up the drum. That drum stands just fine. Uh, then he's got the standalone drum. I'm sure some drum experts could probably tune in and let me know what these are, but he's just got a little side drum, which can angle just on the side like that. No real issues getting those to stand, <laughs> none whatsoever. He does also come with a seat or a little uh, stool that he could sit on. Of course, I would sit behind him or behind the uh, the drum. But unfortunately, as you can see, just by the sheer virtue of the fact that the fabric is soft that I review on, the some of the things don't stand very well. Oh, okay, that stood that stood okay. He's got his kick pedal, which actually does have a motion, an actual moving component to it, which is nice. I thought it was actually just sculpted, but you could have it as if it's leaning towards the drum. A little kick pedal, I like that. And then he's got a couple of side drums. Maybe if I lean them, no, it's not gonna, it's not gonna turn out too well because I don't have a flat, flat enough surface. But he's got a couple of little side drums with that same airbrushing. And then the things that aren't standing up at all, he's got a series of symbols to which the symbols you can kind of just do your best, in my case, do your best to just try to lean everything up against it. I did have this on a flat surface. It stood perfectly fine. But of course, doing it on a table, I don't usually do reviews on tables. I do them on this little backdrop. There we go. That's okay. That's something. We'll work with that. We'll work with that. Uh, it's such a great figure. Like I really like how Animal turned out. Uh, eventually... Eventually, hopefully, Dime Select continues releasing, like, not only the main characters. Obviously, the main characters would be... I don't think we even have a Miss Piggy yet. No, we don't have a Miss Piggy yet. But eventually, when we do get the main characters, I hope they also go back and look at some of the, uh, you know, like the band members. I'd like to get, like, a full band going. That would be awesome. I just can't get... Ah, I can't get the symbols to go. We'll just put Animal behind, just like so. Get him to hopefully stand. He's got such small feet. But by far, this is one of my favorite Muppet figures so far that they've released. Now, I still have to look at Bunsen Honeydew and Beaker. Also have to look at Statler and Waldorf. And I'm really excited for that set because that set's also going to have the balcony set from the Muppets uh, Theater. So I'm looking forward to that. Ah, uh, Animal, are you going to actually stand for me? He just does not want to stand. You want to kind of go out on a high, but unfortunately, like the drum and everything else, nothing just wants to stay together. We'll just kind of have... There we go. That's enough. We'll do that. Try to put the symbols around him. Uh, Spot picked this up from, as he's trying to put together what was left of his dignity, trying to finish this review up on a high. Uh, Spot does or did pick this set up as well as the other uh, Muppets figures that we're going to be looking at from his local comic book store. So if you guys are interested in picking this up for yourself, 
head over to your local comic book store. Chances are they already have this guy in stock and you can pick him up today. Uh, in the meantime, though, today's toy spot, we were having a look at the brand new Diamond Select toys. This was Muppets, I believe, Series 2. We're looking today at Animal. Animal. Uh, stay tuned, guys. Spot's got more videos heading your way. As always, thanks for watching, as you always do. I'll see you next time.